G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zubudu, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where it is raining and pouring, but I am no longer storing, because I've had a shitload of coffee, but that's not the point. I am back in the desert world, back in Mega City, still desperately looking for some decent tools. That was a really cool reveal. Well-timed weather system. I'm still desperately looking for any sort of steel tools. It's day 19, the day 21 horde is not far away, and I need to do some pretty dire renovations to my horde base back <laughs> all the way in the distance out that way. Can't even see my home base anymore, but I need to get that stuff done and get prepared and I need the tools to do that so I'm thinking here <laughs> it's not gonna be a good plan but here's my plan for the next two days I'm gonna hit every passing gas and every working stiffs I can because those boxes are gonna give me the best chance of finding what I need and if I happen to come across like mini bike parts or motorcycle parts oh no that would be terrible so that's where everything that I want to find is gonna be so that's where I'm headed before we take off though I can't just give you guys the tease then not give you the payoff that would be bad of me uh here is the compound bow what are you doing Oh, you're actually loaded for stone arrows at the moment, and I don't have. Also, check my new storage that I made for myself last night. Look at me being semi-responsible. Anyway, you are doing 39 with a projectile velocity of 54 compared to... How about I need to load you for a stone arrow, don't I? Quickly just swap you over for that one. I don't have any, but it's going to work anyway. So you're doing... Mm, 42 compared to 39. So the crossbow is better. It is better. All right, well, it was worth a shot. I'm just going to immediately scrap you again. Get all but one of my uh, bow parts back. That was a costly experiment, but that's fine. You can go into that one. There you go. Get you loaded back up how you should be. Let's get cracking. Oh, look how gorgeous that is out there, though. Look at the mountain ranges. I love it. This looks like the first place that might tickle my fancy. Have I been through you before? Just have a little squeeze at the cars out the front and see. No, I haven't. I would have raided this when I was here last time. And there's a working stiffs across the road as well. So off to a flyer. Don't need that, but I will take the oil. We'll never know when it might come in handy. I'm nope, sandy enough already because I'm real crotchety about not getting my gubs already. You are just a regular Jeff. That's fine. God, I want the machete. I want it so bad. People have been having conversations in the comments about whether or not the, the knife or the machete is the way to go. I just want the upfront damage without having to do power attacks on everyone. Ow! Because the hunting knife just doesn't do enough. I am just going about as express nitro raid as I can. Old mate stuck in the bog. You good, bud? Listen, I know camping up by a billabong is a real good way to spend the summer's day, but ooh, another toilet pistol. But that's not quite the billabong that you always hang out at. Someone's still out there. What are you doing? 31.8 compared to... Wait, what? Oh, yeah, the <laughs> numbers, Josh. They're all the same and go in a uniform measure. Don't get confused by them, I promise. But at least I've got some more pistol parts out of it. But yeah, fast and good vehicles and tools. That's all I'm here for. It's all I want. Nope, your final thought I was a working vendor for a second. I'm not asking for much, just everything. There is a feral loza on the other side of this door. I'm going to try to make your life a little bit better for everyone so you stop causing such a bleeding ruckus. Instead, just bleed and have your own ruckus. We're good, we're fine. Any lock picks? No, and no. Okay, you're getting distracted already, Josh. You're here for two reasons. Stop looking in dumpsters. It's not what you're after. I could have sworn that should have hit. Did I aim over the top again? You'd think after using a crossbow for more than five seconds, I'd figure my shit out, but apparently not. Fast game's a good game. G'day, buddy boy. Sit you down. You came out swinging, but I was swinging faster. Okay, who's in here? Just a stripper titties. God, there's stripper titties everywhere. Apparently, the stripper business is booming because she's definitely not short of clients wherever she goes. Hit ya. Sit ya. Loot ya. We're doing good. We're doing good. Early raids are good raids. Oh, the Bayball Bat. Oh, I miss you. I miss you so much. You were so good to me for so long, but I have no use for you now. Sorry, love. Gotta keep going. I don't see anyone down below that's gonna cause me some dramas, so we'll get on down there. Oh, no, nope, that's just a light. That's not a zombie. Calm your farm. Holster that bolt and try not to get too excited and shoot too early. Couple of passing gas boxes. Where's all the Jeffreys, though? 
There's, there's one. I was going to say, there's normally more defenders than that. You can't just be relying on the old chlamydia stick upstairs to defend everything coming your way. Some, oh God. Sometimes you got to get a bit more bold with it. That's better. That's more like it. Look at you guys go. Didn't wake up when I first came down, but at least you put in some effort eventually. Look at that. Two passing gas boxes primed up and ready to go. Another stripper titty. He's going to love it. <laughs> Been a while since I shot that quickly and blew someone's mind, but I'll take whatever I can get at this point. Plus a sneaky extra one over in the corner over here. This could be a rip snort and start to the day. That's one too many swings. Stop that. Quickly have a gander inside, jump. No, nope, nothing there, but that's okay. Don't give up hope just yet. As soon as we give up hope, actually, that's when the gods will give me stuff. Maybe I should give up hope then. I'm, I'm completely hopeless. I'm worthless and help. Check the leather trunk first. See what she got for me. A book I've already read. Thank you anyway. Cooling mesh bond. Not too shabby. An iron helmet that I'll just scrap for the iron. And some 9mm ammo. Thank you very much. What's in you? More random nothingness, really. And oh, some repair kits and steel tool parts. I still I kind of have the plan in mind, because I'll just repair those ones. Still kind of have the plan in mind to go home and make myself the steel tools if I can't find it today. That's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, but I'm not giving up just yet. Right, okay, job done. Let's go get back in the saddle and head off to the next joints. It's a working stiffs next door, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. God, it's just one after the other. We've got a, a car parts place there, then a working stiffs, then another car parts, the popping pills down at the end. Come to the industrial sector and found everything I was hoping for. Give it some lead. Not too much though, because the bolts fly faster than I think they do. Oh no, you're already empty. Have I been here before? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Maybe you don't have everything I need. Maybe I've been here before and was disappointed by, um... Mm, maybe. Maybe. I need to find the loot room just to investigate. Use my sweet parkour skills just to go hopping over some roofs and no one will notice me. Up onto the wall, through the trees, like I'm George of the Bloody Jungle. Where's the roller door? There's the roller door there that tells you I've been here before. It's open. I have been here. Alright, that's fine. Guess we'll just move on to the next one then. The big old passing gas next door. Still some juicy loot to be gotten. It's just it's in a slightly different box. That's fine with me. There is a cheeky vendor just across the street. So I'm going to have a little gander at you and see if you're working for me. Nope, not going to accept my many thousands of dollar dues. I see how it is. Shame you can't, like, you should be able to get, like, a chance. To, if you break down a broken vending machine, like, a random chance to get a couple of different candies at random. That would be pretty cool. But I think I'm asking too much for that. Uh, anyone in here? Have I been here? That's untouched, so I guess I haven't been. Like, the best Veronica song ever made. That car feels so untouched. Oh, what a banger. Don't mind me, stripper titties. Alright, apparently do mind me, then. Just like every other time I've taken my shot of the woman, it went up in my face immediately. And I just looked there floundering like an idiot. Oh, alright. So someone's come and gurgling at me for my mistakes. Fair enough then. Never mind. Give you a tickle. See you later. Oh, God. Oh. Alright. There are zombies coming out of every orifice of this building. I need to pay slightly more attention. It's speedy loot time. No time for common sense. Just get in, get around, and get out. Keep an eye out for a doggo or whoever else is guarding the junkyard out the back here. Ah, um, uh, oh, there you are. Okay, hopefully this time. So I feel like I feel like there are a lot of strippers in this city. I'm not sure when I decided to go back and play GTA Vice City, but this is a city full of ice. A <laughs> vice, rather, not. Oh, God, maybe it is full of ice. <laughs> oh, there might have been a science for it slip, but never mind. I was going to murder zombies and grab loot. Should be a sneaky weapons bag in here. Oh, man. Yeah, this, um, this is. Oh, Batten parts, gross. This city's just kind of a bit questionable, isn't it? Bit of a question mark. This is going to be a little bit of a battle. And given I do have a surplus of 7.62s, I'm just going to whip out the old AK and see what it does for me couple of bursts into everyone's everyone's chest. I don't know how I missed you when I basically inserted the muzzle into your sternum, but nah, couldn't hit the broad side of all of your barn, and you thick as fuck, so I should have hit something. 
It's fine. You know, whatever. Whatever, hitboxes. Don't even care. Apparently, my little assault rifle adventure has called in a lot of the cavalry from outside. But that's fine. They'll make their way in here when they're good and ready. And I'll be ready for them when they do. Oh, some sneaky pears. Don't mind a little fruity treat while I'm biding my time. How you looking? How you guys looking? Pretty good, actually. I'll kill you through the door. If you want to pop your noggin through the keyhole again, I'll give you the same treatments. Come one, come all. I got stabbies for everyone. Got to make sure I grab that working cis crate up the top there, hiding in the back room. It sounds like they finally made it through that first door. Nope, they're still out there. That's fine. What is in you? Motor tool parts. I'm finding... Oh, yep, they're finally through. I'm finding a lot of those motor tool parts. I don't think I've found the auger schematic yet, which even though I really bloody like it. Ah, uh, auger. No, I haven't. I was going to say if I found the chainsaw recipe, but I mean, I don't think I've ever actually used the chainsaw in this game. Is it really that necessary? Like, if you get a steel fire axe, that thing slices through trees like there's no tomorrow. And if you're slicing down trees, there probably isn't going to be one. But up to the next level, I'll turn off my headlight because I was going to say, oh, I wasn't even loaded anyway. Old man's going to be waiting for me in the ceiling. That's fine. Oh, <laughs> I mean, that's fine for me. Probably less so for you. It's always going to be the double power stroke. I want like that attack, the normal attack to do more. I just feel like it's so underpowered and basically worthless. Oh. <laughs> G'day, bud. Good to see you. Thanks for dropping in. Always a good time when you sneak up behind me. So you're the one who's been beating on the fence all this time. That's fine. I'll leave you out there. Looks like you got some friends out there to come and say g'day and see you too. I am starting to realize, though, that, um, uh, like, being specced into stealth stuff does not help me for super-duper uh, super nitro raiding. Because you've got to like, kind of slow down, take your time, place your shots with the crossbow and do all that stuff. When really, I just want to walk in, go rat a tatter with an AK or smack a smacker with a, a baseball bat and just get it done nice and early. But, you know, got to play how I specced into. The agility trick is good, just not when you're as impatient as I am. Always grab the hidden stash, just <laughs> smear your head against the concrete ceiling. I'm sure it'll be fine. Damn it, and then fall down to the guts of it because you weren't paying too much attention. Can I go like, up? Oh, nope, I can't. <gasps> Derpo. Derpo? Where are you going down, Derpo? Damn it, I can't bloody see. Um, rude. Heckin' rude. I'll get there in a jiffy. I need to know where that smoke plume is. A long way away, but kind of where I'm headed. What am I up to now? Like five? I haven't even got one of the Derpos yet, but I always get excited. Uh, how far do I think that is? Probably like, well, I still haven't tested the 700 meter rule, but I'm going to go like there, five somewhere in that direction. We'll have a squiz of it later on. Need to go get that hidden stash first though. Ah, well, that's nice and convenient. At least I know it's on this side of the mountain range over there. So it's definitely between me and, I mean, that marker may not actually be too far, uh, too off the mark, actually. That marker might actually mark the spot. Um, yeah, okay. All right, that's good enough for me. Back in here we go. Try not to fall down this time, please, Josh. Got, got points in parkour, but still can't squeeze through a gigantic hole like that. Come on, in you get. What have you got? Come on, vehicle or tools. Give me gubbins. I'll take you. I don't need you. I guess ammo is kind of okay. I'm stashing all my 44 with the hope I one day find a Dolce, but I don't really like my chances. I can't find tools. How am I going to find something that good? Excuse me, pup. The weather has definitely turned. Sit you down. This is where stealth does help you, though, because when you got Muppets like that hanging out, waiting to ruin mm, waiting to ruin your day, you can get the drop on them. There we go. I'll put it right on your earlobe. Aim small, miss small. Or maybe I'm just a shit shot. So we've got two passing gases and a working stiss, which gets me a little bit excited. I'm getting hopeful. I've also got a locked chest, but I do have my um my time charge. So that means that's less of a problem. Car parts box. Oh, I got really excited then for a second. I saw the, to the outline of the pickaxe and I was real frothy about it. But nah, not what I'm after. What's in you? Ooh, a book I haven't read. Oh, wait, is that the thing that if you had a weave plant fibers in the cloth? Yeah, okay, I'll read you. Uh, I'll take that, I suppose. Nothing too special. I have so many wheels. I have so many wheels. I'm about to make myself a mini bike that's actually just a freaking monster truck. It's getting ridiculous. Quickly arm you and chuck you on. I think I only need one for these now. I don't really remember. There you go. You're now open. No, you're still locked. 
Ah, it's worth another one. It's worth another one. Why not? We're not going to use these things other than now anyway. Chuck you down. Get knife your boy back and stop you back from my, uh, my wrench. Nice. Okay. What have you got for me? What are you going to give me? Ooh. Steak and spuds. That's actually a really good meal recipe. So thank you very much. I don't need you at all. Two times scope mod. I would very much like to put you on my crossbow, but I think the bow specific mod is probably doing me a better job. But thank you anyway. Look at all this shit though. Look at how much stuff I have. I don't know who I pissed off, but there is quite a lot of zombies around here. You need to just like, ow, god damn you and your extendo reach. Cut off your arm to see if I can learn the same tricks. I'm gonna chuck what I can into here, which I think will just be like, maybe parts, mods don't stack, so you can go in there too. I'll save that repair gift when I need it later on. Oh, yep, good day, bud. Ah, uh, that engine could go in there as well. I just need to make sure that when I do find the gubs I'm going to need later on, I have the things with me. I can't take everything back with me to my actual house. A lot of it's going to have to get left at the desert house, but that's okay. I'm all right with that. Oh, there's an old firehouse as well, which actually has some pretty decent loot in the bottom of the garage there. So that's kind of tempting. Tempting enough for me to actually have a squeeze at it and see what you got for me. Scrap you. I'll scrap you as well. I don't need pipes anymore. Yeah, no, I got. I feel bad if I left this behind because I've been through here lots of times before, and I know how good the potential of this to be great is. Plus, with my new purple knife, not really new anymore, but my comfortable purple knife, I'm making mincemeat of all the zombies. See, mincemeat right there, already rotten and already diced. God, this knife is good. They come charging and I start stacking them on top of each other like I'm bloody the Santa Claus of death. Get in me sleigh and get in me sack. I have to chop off a little bit to get you to fit though. See what I mean? How? How are you so good sometimes? But other times, I feel like I'm waving nothing but a wafer at some people, hoping they fall over out of, out of pity, I suppose. Oh! If that's all fucking pity is though, please pity me more. A tier three pistol. It's been a while rocking the tier one. I mean, you're gonna be better either way because you're gonna be able to have a mod slot inside you. Fuck yes. Give me you, give me you, give me you. Modify that one. Been a long time coming. We finally have a new boy. Scrap you. Don't even think about it. You're gonna be better for me than that one. Tier sixes are always more worthwhile. Chuck you into here. Extra mod slots means extra pockets means extra happy Josh. I want to break into the new pistol, but I can't pass up opportunities like that when I can get some nice sweet headshots and range. Headshots and booty shots like I've opened up an OnlyFans. <laughs> I shouldn't say that on the internet. People will take it seriously. Uh, and hold. Look at that. Some more aloe cream. Fucking awesome. Thank you very much. And thank you very much. Damn it. Damn it. Getting cocky, Josh. As soon as you start getting cocky, you start shanking shit. Try not to. All right. Here we go then. Kill you. Wow, this gun's so good. They're playing dead. They're like, please don't shoot me in the face. Unfortunately for you, I've got some serious zombie bloodlust. This is where it gets heckers though, because they all wake up as soon as you land. Did you not this time? Or was it because I landed on the toolbox? I mean, all is quiet. That's very unusual. All of my memories of this place is that everybody downstairs, as soon as you touch the ground with the pads of your little toe, everyone gets rowdy about it. I mean, this is fine with me. If you guys want to stay asleep, I'm all for it. Crossbow's doing work. See, it knows I was tempted to replace it with the, uh, the compy bow. It's like, nah, man. Nah, man. Look how good I am. Murdering yetis and everything. What a champion. Just the one strip of titties left. Come upstairs, please. And gobble up me gun. Perfect. Bloody perfect. Get my crossbows back, please. I'll leave everyone else out. I think there's one over here. Yep, good. Oh, and it's the perfect loot too. Working stiffs and a passing gas. Probably some aloe cream too. <laughs> and probably some aloe cream too. Uh, listen, sometimes there's just traditions for days. And this seems to be like that. Holy shit. A tier six piece of shit. Well, I mean, you're probably worth taking with me and flushing it down the toilet again. <laughs> so I'll take it with me for now. Gotta do the right thing, you know? If you're Randy Marsh, you need to just lay the world record deuce and be like, nah, it's fine. I'll just flush that bad boy. Not that a toilet could really handle it. I need to call someone about that. People need to know.
Nothing else down here for me. Lovely, lovely. Let's get up and out then. Does this place have like a good exit door? No, it needs one. It needs a button to open one of these doors for me so I can make a break for it. Um, no lose though. Oh. Oh, okay, never mind. I'll just head back down for a moment. Uh, let's just get out of here, break through these doors here, and skedaddle. Damn it, is there a better way? No, not that way. This way? Is that, yep, someone's helping me from the other side. I appreciate it. Let's tag team this bitch. Here we go. Before we go, cool, we just check the loom. There you go. <laughs> That's what I'm doing that forever now. Anytime I find a piece of shit, I'll do the rest i thought that was a giant snake then for a second that shadow waggling about like it's caught in the breeze i mean it actually is but man i had flashback to like was it ravenhurst i think it was that had the giant snakes i don't know either way i caught myself in my throat there for a moment that was not a good feeling but yeah from now on any piece of shit i find straight in the loo call me a sewage worker We've got a cracker book, or a cracker cafe just there, which does have some pretty good stuff in it, but not what I'm after. Oh god! Right now, geez, I rode straight into you. They got turned all around when I hopped off a bicycle. What else is around? Another row, reallys. Mmm, I'll check. No, I'm gonna check the ambulance. It's just gonna be aloe cream anyway. I've got time for like one more decent raid on me, and the inventory space for about the same. Ooh, what's that over there? Is that a shotgun messiah? Ooh, it is. Oh, it is. Maybe I can push two. Maybe I can push two. Let's get really greedy with it. If we are going express nitro right now, more so than ever, I'm going to have to whip out the old, well, not the old, the new bad boy, the new biggest dick on the block and rinse some up its faces with it. Hello? Oh, yep, there you are. Feels good. Feels good. Feels quick. Feels, uh, feels fast and feels nice to kill with. There's you. Just... Wow. It'd probably help if I could hit anything today, but apparently not. That's a bit better. Oh, that's less better, though. That's looking real dire out there. Hold on a second. Ow! Oh, God, they got in quick. They got in really quick. They didn't hold on a second. I asked politely, and they said, yeah, nah, mate. I'm coming in whether you like it or not. Oh, thank God. Thank God for better weaponry. That could have got real bad. We're getting to that stage where I'm starting to make some real shonky decisions because I'm real desperate to find the loot I'm after. Sort out you as well. A lot of zombies on the roof today. Actually, there's a whole like slumber party going on. Like zombie nights under the stars or something. But I wasn't invited, so I had to bring my own fun. That's fine. You stay down there. I'm going to keep on pushing through. Yeah, I'm making bad decisions. I'm trying to rush. I really shouldn't. The temptation of good loot has got me floundering. And all that's going to get me is probably murdered before long. Speaking of murder, um, that was nice and clean. Just going to open up these doors so if things do go wrong, at least I have somewhere to evacuate. So the last thing I need is to get into a real spot of bother and have nowhere to bloody go. Ow, oh, stop that. Oh, I'm also infected. I probably should have realized that before. That's poor for me. Do I have any honey on me? No. Interesting. I normally bring honey with me for exactly this situation, but I guess this time I left it all at home. I know I have some. As long as I make it back before I guess to 5%, it's not too much of a drama. Still poor by me leaving it at home, though. What have we got this time? We're working stiffs and a passing gas. Uh, what else is down here? Another passing gas and... Just a regular cardboard box. All right, that's fine. I'll take the wood. I am just like kind of out of habit turning all the wood I get into frames. I can kind of scrap it back again if I really need to, but for the most part, it's just handy to have a good amount of frames on you. Though, <laughs> uh, 250 is probably a little bit excessive if I'm being honest. Oh, I thought that was cleaner than it actually was. That's much better. Um, look at that. Turns out if you occasionally take your time and line up a couple of pumpkins, you do a much better job. Look at that. Nice and clean. I love my new pistol. Car parts box. What you got for me? More repair kits. I found this schematic about 800 times at this point. I've got more dinosaur juice that I know what to do with. I could basically undo all the damage that the asteroid did. Bring them back like it's freaking Jurassic Park with all of the goo I found from various species. Extract that DNA and shove it up a frog. I've got plenty of reserves, don't you worry. Open up both of you. Car parts box. What you got? The <laughs> See? It's the same bloody thing over and over and over again. That's like the aloe cream of schematics. It's bloody everywhere. It's lousy. Uh, fireman helmets. That's fine. Armor parts. I should make myself some armor, shouldn't I? 
I have specced into armor. Might be time to look at that. Maybe when I get home. I said I was getting bold with it, and I damn well am. There's another crack book down there, but I'm more interested in... Ooh, that Vendo, first and foremost. But then also, the Shotgun Messiah next door. Are you like a... Nope, you're broken. Never mind. Are you like a Shotgun Messiah... Um, Revenants, or what are you? Don't look kind of like as big and as bulky as the regular ones. Piss off. Piss off. Not in the mood for your shit right now. I only got clobbered enough today. I don't need you singeing me pubes as well. It's pretty empty in here, so it may actually well be a Shock of Messiah Remnant. I didn't realize those were a thing. Full auto trigger mod. I'll actually just chuck you in here for now just to do the extra damage that you're going to do for me. What else was there? I don't need you, but I will take the Sheddy parts. One day, fingers crossed, I'll find the bloody Sheddy schematic. Found 18,000 headlight schematics, but got no use for them. No one there. Yeah, it is too. Anything with like multiple entrances like that, just scream remnants. All right. Well, should make it nice and quick to get through then. Hopefully there's something at the end of it. Just check out the roof while I'm here. Make sure it's not on fire. Oh, I like my chances of that. Hup. Nope. Missed it. Gotcha. I was only going to try it twice because after that, we'll just have to have hung my head in shame and probably gotten cried myself to sleep tonight. But we got it done. Anyone else? Ooh, any eggs? I need eggs for bacon and eggs. Damn it. No. There's more to this POI than I initially thought. Ooh, and a sneaky box as well. Don't mind if I do. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Get up so I don't fall down. Someone's gurgling. I'll be right there. Just give me a jiffy while I sort out my life. Have a little squeeze in you. Hmm, not too bad, actually. Both useful things. This is a working vendor. I can hear some muppets downstairs. I'm going to have a little look-see through you. I'm chock a bleeding block, so that can just piss off. I don't need more aloe cream in my life. I'll take the jailbreakers. None of those are getting me tingly, though. I'm a long way from home, but it's probably still worthwhile marking that just so I know that it is there for future, Josh. Anyone else? Hello? Yes, I hear. If you can just make your way past the front counter and come find me in the back room, I'll show you what's what. I'll like, sear out your eyes with aloe juice. All right, that'll do me. That'll do me for today. I think that was... I mean, listen, I'm trying to nitro raid as much as I can. Like, just trying to get through as many places as possible to farm whatever I can. That was a, uh, an efficient day, though. Didn't have to run home and drop off all my inventory. Didn't take unnecessary things. Just run with it as much as I could. Mm, is it worth me raiding you? No, Josh, no. It's late. You don't have any inventory space at all. You're just asking for trouble. Don't go chasing your good night. When it gets past 2 a.m. and you're wrapping up for the night, getting lured out to another nightclub never works out well. Just go home. You're not missing anything. I feel like there's a joke to be made here. A dingo, a rabbit, and a spider <laughs> walk into a bar somewhere. The bartender says, hey, g'day, mate. Because clearly it's Australia. Pop up out the front. Got my pistol out. Missed, missed, missed. Don't normally miss your Nance, but apparently that's the exception. There we go. That probably lured in a bunch of clowns, though. Easy. There. All right, fine. All right, fine. Never mind. Sometimes you just have to let the spiders live. Hopefully that one's a friendly boy who just eats all the other annoying bugs. I'll let you live, bud. Just like set up camp in the corner. We'll be best buds. While I'm up here, I'm only at 2.8%, so we're sweet. Quickly lick a bee's backside and get all the lovely juice out of it. Put you guys into there. Uh, the tools and mods, that one. Everything has a spot. Everything has a home. Nice. Okay, there's still some stuff in my bike I have to go get. I probably do need like a dump chest or something, but it's fine. I'm heading home tomorrow. Just here to sort out my life and see what's worth taking. Come to think of it, actually, I've got 12 handgun parts now, and I probably get another four out of you. What's it going to take to make myself... 12 exactly. All right, don't even have to scrap my tier three. Don't have to take the chance. 30 forged iron, six duct tape, polymers, and springs. I might have... The, ooh, I don't. Because I haven't been breaking down the things I should have. I definitely have that at home, just not here. So maybe when I go home tomorrow, as the nighttime sounds, maybe I can just make myself a pistol right off the bat and have a better firearm. I know I only just found the tier 3. But, I mean, that's just kind of a no-brainer, isn't it? Make it tier 5. That's going to be the tits. 
All right, nice. Let's get our lives in order then and see what we can take home. Time to start loading up our backpack and pedaling into the distance. It's always a tough ask to try and figure out exactly what I should be taking home with me and what's okay to leave behind. Like a lot of this stuff is just random gubbins, like the generic flotsam that you find throughout the world. So I'm not too concerned with taking everything with me. I will, however, just turn those guys into duct tape. I've got parts, I've got ammo stuff, I've got various things. I've got a machine gun that's full of mods because I want to take those home with me as well. You can hang out here. Like, yeah, it's kind of hard to know. Iron can come with me, lead can come with me, brass can come with me. That's all like ammo making stuff that I might need later. Springs are handy, oil shells handy. I guess I'll take the wood. But, like the rest of this stuff, like broken glass, unless I need a snack because I handled the tier 6 stun button a little bit too much. I don't think I need to take that with me. Mechanical parts, yes though. I think that's kind of everything super critical. I'll take the acid with me, but everything else now, I suppose? Like, I also quite, I do like having, as we've learned in, well, not long ago, actually, having, like, a supply of gubbins somewhere far from home, a little cache of goodies, not a bad idea. Like, if I get infected on some journey later, I don't want to have taken all my antibiotic shit home with me. I'm going to want to have that on hand. So, that's not a terrible idea. I might leave a stack of food down here and take you guys with me instead. I don't want the empty glass jars. Piss that shit off. I'll go and dump some of the shit in the bike so it's ready to go, but I think I've got everything of actual value down here. All the other stuff I have copies of back at my normal house. Oh, damn it. I was going to say, I need to make sure I do my due diligence before I start jumping off roofs, but apparently they all figured out where I was all right quick. Finish you off. I may as well make the most of this brand new pistol while I've got it in my hot little hands. Can't see Spider Boy. All right, all right. Calm down, Tom Holland. I'm coming for you, new spider. Where are you? You're in here somewhere. You're lurking in the corners. I tried to make peace with you. Oh, God. But you weren't having a bar of it, you cheeky sausage. That is some bang, bang average shooting wordle. God, whatever you think you're good at, reevaluate everything. Oh, there's another one. There's lots of them. <laughs> Wait, didn't this movie just come out? There's all the Spider-Man. I suppose for like the last of the space down here, I might just like take some of these with me. Like a way to head mod a bad idea. Some of those like passive mods to do extra damage for things like the Bunker Buster. I don't need Bando mods. I'll take you. Take those ones. I guess I don't, I don't really have any good ideas of what I need them for, but I'd rather have them where most of my crafting stuff is than on the other side of the world. I'll take the Hacker's Candy and that's going to do me... Nice, I've got snacks, got fluids, got health, got some basic craftables, got uh, sewing kits, I do get a laceration as well. Nice, okay, I think I'm pretty right and ready to go. I don't need any of you, so you can stay here. Nothing in you. No, we're laughing. We are laughing. So I'm going to have to leave this episode here and leave the desert city here as well. Because first thing in the morning, I'm jumping on the old pedal machine. I'm heading back north. We're heading back from whence I came. It's going to be good to get home to my penthouse apart. I'm not going to lie. Then I can make myself the steel tools and probably start setting about maybe doing some renovations to the base. It might... I might have to fight the day to on horde on my little, <laughs> whatever you want to call that base I've got. The thrown together hastily nonsense base I got up at the top of the stairwell. When I get that sorted, I want to start moving into something bigger, better, and hopefully easier to fight the horde. Or I'm going to bin it. Because often when I start building new bases, I just completely bin the entire sausage and just make a right meal of it. But I'll have to come back and build that new base and try to be decent at this game for five minutes in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like liked, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.